Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Naomi Shapumba, aka Nay the Hustler. So um, if you are new here, please do subscribe and also check out my other videos. But anyways, it is so nice to have you guys back on my channel to all my subscribers. Thank you so, so much. So in today's video, we are sharing an experience. I'm sorry if I'm laughing. Um, my son was just... Hello, Papa. <laughs> He's in the back somewhere there. Um, so guys in today's video, I just wanted to share with you guys my um, my high-risk um, Pregnancy experience. It was quite a devastating. It was so stressful. It was It was nothing. I actually thought would happen to me um, I know that sounds so wrong, but I, I know there's like some pregnancy that are Difficult, but I didn't know they were called high-risk pregnancy. I guess if you're not in the situation It's it's really hard for you to to know about the information or to know about um yeah what goes on so we found out that i was pregnant and i was so excited but i was nervous at the same time because i had already had two losses so i had um two miscarriages and i was already on my third pregnancy and i'm thinking oh my goodness um what if it's gonna happen again so that's the reason why as soon as we found out that we were pregnant we went to um the doctor that then confirmed that i was pregnant and then after that um we went to the clinic and after going to the clinic we were referred to um the hospital because of my previous experience which is my losses and when we went to the doctors um it was discovered that now i had my pregnancy was re regarded as a high-risk pregnancy because of my previous losses and it was so scary to even hear the doctors utter those words to me that my pregnancy was a um, a high-risk pregnancy and it just made everything very very hard for me I couldn't celebrate my pregnancy I didn't want people to know that I was pregnant and I just feel that had it been my first pregnancy it was obviously going to be a different um, a different feeling you know uh, I was probably going to go all out photo shoots were off limits uh, baby showers were off limits. I just didn't want I just didn't want to be out there um, I was so scared guys. I was so scared. I didn't enjoy <laughs> My baby guys <laughs> What What I didn't enjoy my pregnancy as much as I would have enjoyed it had it been my first pregnancy and it was just so sad guys it was just so sad um i wanted to share my journey i wanted to film videos you know regarding my pregnancy of which i did but i only posted those videos after i gave birth that's how bad it was i only posted those videos after i had given birth because i was just so scared guys i was scared that it might um, happen again I constantly live in fear now I am a firm believer I believe in God guys I believe in God I feel not even feel I believe that God is amazing God is he exists he is there but at the end of the day I'm human and obviously I am I have emotions I you know I'm a person so I did question God several times like why is this happening to me I know they say if not you then who but some situation some oh my goodness some some hardship some challenges are just so difficult for one person to bear that you you constantly ask God why is he allowing certain things to happen to you um, yeah I was just I was just stressed guys I don't want I didn't want to go out I feel like during my pregnancy I was depressed to be quite honest and doctors were telling me not to not to stress um, if I if I had a nine-to-five job um, the plan was for them to kind of like write a note to my workplace so that they can give me um, time off work earlier in my pregnancies just just so that me and my baby are okay that's how how traumatizing it was because i remember them asking me um doctors asking me if i had a job if i do anything stressful if i pick up heavy heavy things and all of that 
and from that moment i knew Wuti, you know what <laughs> this is actually this is actually serious i mean it was very very serious to hear those words um high risk pregnancy you already know what a risk is i mean if you're doing business if you run a business or if you want to start a business you already know there are risks involved so now that my pregnancy was considered a high risk i was like oh my gosh i don't know like those words were just they broke my heart they really really broke my heart and i remember um getting pres prescriptions um to go buy certain um medication um you know for for the baby um i don't know i'll probably film another video to discuss that or to talk about that and oh my goodness guys i just i just didn't believe that I just didn't believe that I was pregnant, guys. For the longest time, I just didn't believe that I was pregnant. Hey, Baba. I didn't believe that I was pregnant for such a long time. And um, that's the reason why. Um, I filmed videos. Like I said, I filmed videos. And I only started posting out those videos after I had given birth already. Yes, I, I filmed those videos. And I, I, I put them out. Thank goodness for youtube because youtube allows you to do that you're allowed to film videos like lots and lots of video and then you just schedule them on when you want um the videos to be posted or you yeah if that's even the correct word so that's what i did i i, I filmed videos i filmed videos until when one of my favorite i'm not gonna say her name because i just don't want to kind of like put I, okay let me i'm i'm just not gonna say their name let's just put it that way um one of my favorite youtuber was pregnant at the same time as i was so i was very very happy for her we were both in um i think we were weeks apart because she was also in her second trimester when um she experienced when she lost her baby when she had a miscarriage and i just went off of social media for the whole day because i knew what they were going through uh, i have experienced this experience and it's it's not it's not nice it's very difficult it's very painful that's when i literally stopped filming um about my pregnancy until i was like in my my late third trimester that's when i did a video um yeah i, I think i did a video one or two videos and that was it i was so hurt guys like um yeah like a miscarriage is something that's painful um it's very the pain really never goes away it's 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 always gonna be there it's so sad it's very very sad and every time somebody tells me that they've experienced that um i i i honestly don't even know what to say to them because it's it's so painful because you start asking um god certain questions about your life about your existence and it's just not nice it's not it's not a great place to be to be in it's not a nice situation you know you feel like you you ask yourself so many questions and then there was this um incident that happened where my where i had like massive pains in my womb if i should call it that they were so massive guys i couldn't even walk um and i was i think i was in my early second trimester if not no i was in my early third trimester or in my late second trimester i experienced so much pain guys i couldn't walk and I remember thinking oh my goodness is it happening again like why would you you know I was literally talking to God asking him why he would allow me to be pregnant until at a certain time for him to even start doing this to me and um, I was in so much pain I was showing already and um, that was one of the days where it was heavily 
heavily heavily raining in Bumalanga if you live in Bumalanga you should know about this rain it flooded a lot of houses it destroyed a lot of um, things one of um, the roads in Ligazi was destroyed I think they're still fixing that road um, that was the day when I experienced so much pain guys it was I was so stressed out and then we couldn't drive to the hospital we couldn't drive to to the um, to a doctor or anything like that because there were trees falling on the road it was just bad there was no way we were going to get to the hospital and I was just I was just so sad I was so so stressful and I kept on you know praying literally asking God to save my child um, because I wouldn't have known what I would have done you know had it happened again for the third time so I remember first thing in the morning I hardly slept that night constantly thinking oh my goodness I hope it's not gonna happen again I hope it's not gonna happen again and early in the morning I, me and my husband were like okay we need to drive we need to go see the doctor and then we went to the doctor and I was taken to um, the sauna um, to check if the baby was fine what was going on in my womb and when we got there uh, my baby was sleeping my baby was fine um, and then he further before I say what I'm going to say disclaimer guys um, our bodies are different okay so if you're pregnant and you feel or you are experiencing any pains please do not take what I'm going to say and say the baby is fine our bodies are different so if you're pregnant and you experience any pains of some sort um, that you're unsure about um, please do consult please do go and see a doctor um, but in my situation however the doctors told me that my body was obviously making up space for the baby um, so the baby was growing um, so obviously my baby needs to make sp a space for the baby's growth um, and also yeah yeah basically that's it so my body was growing or either stretching you know my bones had to accommodate the baby's weight and that was basically what was happening that's the reason why I was in pain and I couldn't walk and also I was for I was far along in my pregnancy and it was such a relief for me because I thought it was gonna happen again you know I thought I was gonna have another loss um, again and but other than that I'm, I'm so grateful to God guys and I'm so happy to to be sitting here to actually share a story where there's a happy ending because yeah I'm just so glad that there was a happy ending um, yeah that was my experience with um, the high-risk pregnancy and you know the pains and all of, all of that that I went through um, that was one of the scariest moments in my pregnancy. I was literally scared. I, I, I was so scared, but I'm happy that, um, everything I prayed for came to life. Um, I'm a mom now to a very sweet baby and yeah, I'm so happy to even share the story with you um so if you are praying to have a child to have a baby i hope god answers your prayer thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video i'm so sorry if there were any noises <laughs> i'm filming literally filming with my baby in the room and also there's a bit of rain so i hope you were able to hear what i was saying <laughs> So yeah, that is it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.